Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the infected today. Oh boy, it is time. It's time for stone grinders and cement mixers and uh, all kinds of stuff. To that end, I have, for the most part, emptied out this room, the room that we're going to add a proper roof to. So you see there is lots and lots of room. I haven't like put a roof there because there's no point in putting that there. Uh, if I'm just going to put these here. <laughs> and I think there's only one of those. And then uh, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> and then these. And of course, as I said before, uh, on last season, just having the ghost there is enough to protect you from the sun. See if I can stand fully in the sun. There's the sun right there. And as you can see, my sun resistance is stable. All right, stone grinders and cement mixers. Uh, so in here we have um, the first stone grinder. Probably I'm going to have one here. And I'll probably have another one in here if I need another one. But for now, we're just going to put the cement mixers in here. And that is under others, placeable others, and mixers. And we'll go ahead and, and set up for four of them. It's going to take a long time to build four of these things. As you can see, we need electrical, mechanical parts, both uh, iron ingots and uh, screws all of those things and uh, so first we need uh, 40 total screws I've also moved the stairs that was kind of a weird tight fit right there I might do an awning right here that's possible and I built a shed I had to have a place to put all that stuff here is my wondrous shed I've also added more concrete I thought it was going to be difficult to get to, uh, so I added the concrete before I built the shed. But there is my shed. As it turns out, it's not difficult to get to. And, -da! <laughs> I don't think this wall is going to be necessary. Um, I haven't decided yet exactly if I'm going to enclose this area or how I'm going to do it. I think that I'm just going to put um, these pillars up you know, yay so, and then put a roof like this on those pillars. Um, I haven't decided if I want the wood area to be lifted off the ground, but here's my shed. I put in a completely unnecessary step just to make it look finished. Here's the gasoline. All the gas is in the truck. It's in, the, in one of the crates in the truck, and our tool grinder and our anvil are all right here, all of the extra forges, which I'll probably end up using for um, heaters, like I did in the kitchen next to the bed. Um, we need to get this planted. I planted onions already because I'm running out of them all the time. And so we'll grab some oh, watermelons and melons and we will need potatoes. And I've already, oops, I've already planted. I'm gonna put those aside for now. So we'll put the watermelons in the back. Uh, these are easy, watermelons and melons, because it's an even amount. Uh, each plant gives you two parts. And I think making six at a time is probably plenty. Or, well, this is actually 12 cans, isn't it? So it's, no, it's six cans. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, yeah. Okay. We need lots of potatoes. But you know what? Potatoes keep for a long time. These still have nine and a half hours. So maybe we'll just do these front four uh, in potatoes. That seems like a good idea. And then we'll do, uh, oops, I 
forgot to engage the planter there. And we'll do all of these in veggies for now until we max out the veggie numbers. And then uh, we'll probably just do potatoes, onions, and melons uh, after the veggie numbers are maxed out, and except for just a little tiny bit um, for the purpose of um, keeping uh, these numbers up when they are needed. Okay, so I got potatoes. Baked potatoes actually do a wonderful job. Um, I'm going to turn that on. It actually takes a little while now. Uh, I turned it on and off. There we go. Uh, for a little while, or I turned it rather, I turned it on and off from inside the kitchen, long enough to fill a flask with water. And I came out here, and the stuff inside the onions still wasn't watered, so I messed up that deal. All right, let's put the seeds away before I forget and end up carrying them all day long. That wolf is right outside, maybe even right across the street. And that is why I put a stairwell right there. I didn't hit him hard enough. He's got to walk, run all the way to attack the fence. <laughs> There he is. I mean, how many arrows can a wolf really take? I think I've talked about this before. <laughs> Probably quite a few if they're angry. <laughs> all right, we got some more meat going. All right, all of this stuff um, actually ran out of fuel on me, so uh, it's going again now. I just got it going again a couple of minutes ago. And this one is almost mostly rocks, so let's take out, out all of these rocks so that there's more room. That one's good. This one's a lot of rocks. We need more room uh, for uh, iron. And I'm carrying too much weight, so let's go get rid of the rocks. And then we'll start checking on mechanical and electrical parts. I think I need to uh, get the grinder going, the stone grinder going first, uh, so that I have material. It makes the sand for me, so I don't have to stand there and make sand uh, for the um, for the cement mixers. So here is the grinder. Uh, we need 12 electrical parts. I'm pretty sure I didn't make that many. Oh, I did. Fantastic. I did make a bunch the other day. Uh, six mechanical parts. That's exactly how many I have. Oh, cool. This is going to be up and running in just a second. 20 iron ingots. And how many planks? Uh, just five planks. Uh, yeah, that's the right door. I was like, am I opening an extra door for no reason? Five of those. All right. This is starting to, like, the back half of this huge build is starting to come together. The walkways and towers um, are something that I haven't actually done before. And... Um, so that's going to be cool. I'm going to enjoy that. I always like doing something new. Everything else here is pretty much just a variation on things that I've already done. All right, so now we need to have another power box. And um, because we need a power switch in here for this thing. And I think I'll put it right there. And remind me again, 4228. We need screws. Where did I put them all? I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, here, here. No, those are nails. That's a mix of things that I just dropped all of a sudden without thinking about it. Um, I'm guessing that they're downstairs somewhere. I have so many boxes. I need to get the storage room done and organized because it is really, truly making me crazy. Oh, that's not the right way. There we go. Lines up much better. And those are bricks. Oops, don't leave that door open. And there's screws. Let's get those moved to someplace more sensible. Uh, what did I need screws for? Oh, this thing. All right. Here we go. It's storming all the time. It's really late in the year. It's October. And, um... So, yeah, that's... That's an issue. There's four... And two. And do I not have any copper cooked? Is copper what I needed? <laughs> copper is what I needed. Okay, let's go grab some copper. I've been hoping that it would just fill up, you know. Oh, it needs fuel. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go grab some fuel while we're cooking. Uh, those are rocks. Those are rocks. There's two more rocks. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to need copper in order to make uh, electrical parts, I think. Unless that one's changed. Itempedia. Uh, others. Electrical parts. Copper, plastic, and cobalt. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make plastic as well. Oh, that's going to take a while. So, we don't have to make um, iron fragments anymore. Oops, I missed the door again. We don't have to make iron fragments anymore because they're all going to made, be made right here and we're going to empty this whole thing in there we'll need to rearrange some of this because we need to have uh, room uh, for sandbox so I know I went to all that trouble to put that there but we need a sandbox and probably more than one sandbox with that many rocks. Oops. That's extra. All right. Let's drop this down here. Storage. We'll grab that and put that up there. All right. Let's do some screws here. Just waiting on that stuff cooking. And um, these are going to take a while. Like making all of those, uh, what is that, 16 total electrical parts. That's going to take a while. Um, the iron need is really high now so um, like I think I was saying this early on and I know I said it recently once you start to build iron keep building iron like you need iron for everything and everything you need iron nails you need iron tools you need iron for building all of the parts um, and every time you use iron you need to wait for iron again and so the more iron you have extracting the easier things are going to be for you I don't need that much copper on me 
Uh, but we will go plunk that in. And then we have stone grinder right there. As you see, I have 155 power available. There we go. I still need more power because I need um, to be able to not have to turn things on and off uh, in order to use. I think I. No, I'm not going to put them there. I need a better place for screws and nails to live. This would be a better place. Oops, I'll put the feathers back. If I could find the nails again. <laughs> so I put some fish and meat on the drying rack because I didn't have onions. Got all of that. Um, let's get rid of all this copper. And yeah, we'll just plunk that in there. And uh, we can make mechanical parts super easy, but probably we should see about how much plastic we can make first. Because we need everything. There's only eight in there. Uh, we need everything um, all at the same time. <laughs> but like some things are more important than others and that uh, the cement mixers are not super duper important. They're holding up doing all of the flooring and stuff. Um, but that's that's okay. Uh, how am I doing? Oh, I'm thirsty. Okay. I guess I, oh god, everything's going bad. Is there room for another piece of meat? There is if I eat that. There we go. That's why I needed a refrigerator. I'll just eat that. Uh, looks like I could actually eat one of these as well. That helped. And let's get rid of the spoilage and take the next step. Alrighty. I, I envision this room to be mostly storage. Like, most of this space is going to be boxes. That's, that's what I think. And although I need boxes to be located where they're supposed to be, like in here, uh, feathers and bones, and um, is there sticks in here? Sticks right there for making arrows. This isn't necessary. There's six pieces of plastic right there. That's not bad. All right, let's see if we can find the rest of the oil. I think it's actually in here. There's 17. All right, that's only enough for five. I have all this fuel though, so I don't need to worry about oil for fuel. All right, how many each is it? Each four. So that makes sense. To get one of these going, I need two copper, uh, two cobalt. Is that right? Two copper, two cobalt, two plastic. I need Pedia, others. Uh, Copper, cobalt, and plastic. Okay. We'll go grab two plastic. Oops. I'm still getting used to that button. And this bench right here. And one, two, three, electrical part. One, two, three, electrical part. Take these two. Those four are in and four mechanical parts, so a total of 24 iron. Let's see if I have 24 iron. Yes. And 20. That weighs too much um, because of the oil. Okay, let's drop the oil in there. 
Remind me that the oil is with the fragments. <laughs> the fourth box of fragments. <laughs> and uh, is it this bench? Yes. Two, three, and four. There we go. Right. Now let's take a look at how much power that requires. Um, 40. And we have 55. So let's go grab some sand and clay and start making concrete. And then we'll pick up the bricks before I forget. So we're going to start with this one. <laughs> Three minutes for every 10 concrete and we'll work our way through those. I'll probably get the rest of those done uh, off video. Um, let's do it this way. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. All right. Um, bark chips. I have plenty of bark chips for making plastic. I just haven't gotten around to making plastic. All right, these should be dry. There we go. Quick pickup. Turn on the light there. <laughs> This is right here, the business end um, of securing the property and having stone grinders going uh, is where we're going to get all the frag to secure all of those fence spikes. And um, that's huge. Uh, there's the steel for the, <laughs> that's the steel for the steel spear, by the way. All right, um, let's see. I put those there to protect me on that side. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. That's not exactly a corner right there, is it? That's interesting. Like, I'm just looking at the roof here. And that's not where the corner goes. <laughs> All right. We don't have the clay for that yet. Uh, what was I thinking? Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Let's grab the bow. It's in pretty good shape. We need 10, 20, 30 aluminum. And... Uh, that is gasoline, and that one's empty. Let's take the empty one. There's no reason to drive to the aluminum. It is so close. I will turn that light back on now. It is so close by that I can easily go there two or three times a day. In fact, I think there's probably not going to be like any aluminum there because they have already been there. That's the problem, is I'm trying to let the game run so that these um, supplies will build up. Excuse me. It's fall in Oregon, too. <laughs> so I'm trying to let the game run while the supplies are building up, but I get bored just cutting trees, and then I start building stuff, and I bring you guys back in, and boom, there's a shed. <laughs> but I am trying really hard to save all of the equipment building for on video, so you can see, like, how super quick and easy it is. Uh, hopefully, these don't need fuel. Do they? No. There's no... Yeah, there's no aluminum yet. This is it. Is that 10? 3, 6? Oh, yeah, that's 10. We're going to take our box back with us, though. Whoa, there's a wall there. We are all set up at both aluminum and cobalt site um, for winter. The truck does not provide any protection against the weather. So don't think in January when you get blizzards January and February 
Don't think that you can just go out in the truck and if it gets too cold, you can jump in. Because it doesn't help. The only thing that helps you uh, is fire. And um, so, hi, Piggy Wiggy. So if you can, um, oh, shoot. There's a bear. I missed the bear. Shoot him in the butt. That'll get his attention. Wow. I got him right in the brain socket with that one. <laughs> brain socket. <laughs> now I've got a song stuck in my head, and it's a toy from the 70s. And I just replaced the name of the toy with brain socket. <laughs> yeah, let's put this back in the truck so I don't, like, forget it. Uh, somewhat underneath something. Um, not exactly. Let's try that again. We'll just put that one there. <laughs> uh, aluminum. All right, so that's enough for one more. That's the issue. I can't really run um, all of this stuff. Uh, I'm down to... Oh, something stopped. So that's okay. Um, let's just take all the rocks out. Because they're just taking space. There we go. I'll drop that in there. And I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll go put all of these in the grinder. Because they should. 20 more rocks. That should fit in there. There we go. See, we are up to 56 fragments and 280 sand already. So that is super. It's really super duper exciting because, in fact, I'm going to empty it right now. Um, da, 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 da. Right mouse click to take all items. Here we go. Did that get it? Yep. Here we go. Um, because if you take too much at once and you end up with nowhere to put anything, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> all right. Upgrade tool is in slot two, yeah, there's that, uh, not quite enough for that one, how many did that leave, almost, god, I only need two more, two more fragments for that one, <laughs> I have fragments everywhere, most of these fragments are going to become iron, and uh, with good reason, I need a ton of it, much, much more than the extractors can give me. All right. This door is protected. Uh, the other thing that I did, and I'll go up on the hill here to show you really quick before we end, is I laid out the general foundation on the, or that goes around the lake. I may make adjustments to that. I did have it coming closer up on shore. I'm not happy with it being so close to the ground like that, but that's okay. We'll probably put a tower here because the next other tower is over here. I could put one there though. That's all on ground. Uh, the first tower we're going to build is going to be this one right here. And you can see this one is set up. It's um, it's four wide. And we'll have stairs that go up. So I laid out all of that foundation. And I was thinking I was going to put the oil rig over here. But I might put it on this back side over here. Uh, next to this tower. So I think that might work out uh, pretty well. There are going to be um, other buildings and things like that out here. We might do an animal trap. That might be fun. And um, 
We might do a Vambi trap and turn on the Vambies. That might be fun. <laughs> All right. That is everything we're doing today. Uh, I need to do some logging. And um, then we will get back together uh, tomorrow when I've got more um, stuff for making electrical parts for these things. And there is our very first cement super duper all right you guys i want to thank you all so much for coming along if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and hit the notifications button and uh, if you're enjoying the content then please click the like button and as always have an amazing day